Hey guys, in this video I'd like to talk about a common question that I get and that is, when doing maintenance on my Humvee, what fluids should I use? So starting off we're going to talk about coolant, transmission fluid, power steering fluid, uh, transfer case fluid, which we haven't got yet, but I'll talk about that anyways. This is for all the hubs and the differentials. We're going to be replacing the brake fluid. This is for all the grease points in the vehicle. And then also we have the engine oil and filter. So starting off, I think all new Humvee owners and all Humvee owners in general should go ahead and do the maintenance on their truck when they first get it. Um, you don't know the history on these trucks and they could have been sitting for a very long time. And uh, you don't know when the, the fluids have been changed last or the maintenance has been done. So I think that's a very important thing to do for the reliability and safety of you and the vehicle and uh, less of a headache in the long run. The oil I usually use is Rotella T6 15W40. I have used that in all of my diesel engines, all of my Humvees. It is full synthetic and uh, it's a very high quality oil. There's been many lab tests on, on the Rotella T6 and it's just really high quality oil that I highly recommend. I don't have it right here on the table. I actually had to order it on Amazon because none of the auto parts stores around me had that, but kind of weird. Um, and then filter. This time I went with K&N, uh, but any high quality filter will work. This number is HP3002. And then also, here is the cross-reference table. So you could pause the video, take a screenshot, any high quality filter will work though. Um, if I don't use this one, I like to use the Mobile One. I feel like Mobile One is a pretty good uh, filter. But yeah, high quality oil, high quality oil filter. The coolant I'm going with is this Prestone. It's kind of like universal. It's made for all vehicles. The normal coolant that's in these Humvees is like this red extended life coolant and it has a tendency to kind of like gel up or gunk up. Um, over its life lifespan, so I'm gonna flush the entire system in these. This is what I usually do I'll flush the entire system and put some of this press stone in there This stuff has like a lifespan of like three to five years and it's available and cheap everywhere so I would definitely Recommend flushing your whole system and going with a universal. I believe this is green coolant Now going on to the transmission fluid so at first, I had a hard time finding this. I guess I was a little bit confused, but um, what it's called for on these transmissions is Dexron 3, and apparently they don't make that anymore, and now it is called Dexron 6. So um, pretty much the same thing as the engine oil, just get a high-quality Dexron 6 ATF, and this is used in the transmission and the power steering. Now, I don't have the transmission filter here yet, but I did order it, and I will show you guys uh, the link or, I guess, where to order it from. Moving back from the transmission, we have the transfer case. So the transfer case oil, I don't have it here yet either. I actually just ordered it today, but I like to use... It's called AC Delco Manual Transmission and Transfer Case Fluid. I will put a link up on there. I actually just had to order it from Amazon. Um, no place I went to had that as well, which is kind of annoying. And the reason why I am using this is uh, because I've actually read a few articles. I'll link one of the articles that I read in the description so you guys can check it out too. But the transfer case actually calls for Dexron 3, which I said before, I don't think they're making it and the new Dexron 6 has led to parts failure. So GM actually recommends the manual transmission and transfer case fluid. So that's what I went ahead and bought. Love bug. I like to use Lucas oil, but again, any high quality 75W90 gear oil will work. I just happen to use Lucas oil. Each hub I think uses half a quart, so you really only need two two quarts for all the hubs and then the differentials they use two quarts for each going on to the braking system what I'm gonna be using is dot four that's what I like to use on my uh, on my personal trucks um, what is most likely in your Humvee is dot five 
dot four and dot five are not compatible. So uh, with the the original dot five, I'm gonna have to flush out the entire system with denatured alcohol, and then I'll fill it up with this stuff. This stuff uh, performs a lot better than the dot five. The dot five that's in your your Humvee, it pretty much lasts forever, but it, it doesn't perform as well. It kind of gives a little bit of a spongier feel on the brakes and it doesn't absorb water so it, what it actually does is it allows any moisture or water that gets into your system to kind of pull up in your brake calipers and that could lead to some issues uh, it could also allow rust to form in your brake calipers so I like to use the dot four the last thing is all the grease points on your Humvee so I think this should be done every maybe every few months it should probably be done more or right after if you go in any water, like if you do some water fording, you should probably go ahead and just walk around and grease all the points on your truck. But I like to use the Lucas Oil Red and Tacky Grease. It's very similar to what the military calls for grease-wise, and it's just a very high-performance grease, uh, like most products from Lucas Oil. They make some good stuff. So I would uh, go ahead and grease all of your points with that stuff well guys that is it that is all the fluids and filters I use in my normal Humvee maintenance um, I'm gonna be making videos on all the maintenance procedures on this truck so I think the the next thing will be like changing the oil that's probably the most basic uh, I guess maintenance item to check off your list yeah hopefully this helped answer any of your guys questions and then also if you guys need some help with anything or have any more questions let me know down in the comments or I also put my phone number and email at the bottom of my description so if you guys need to reach out to me and uh, if you have a question or need some help with anything go ahead and uh, feel free to, to reach out and I'll see what I can do to help you out. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.